looking at the White House, where minutes ago the Trump administration announced it will be setting a national standard for fuel economy in cars and trucks. Now this move targets California and will essentially revoke the state's ability to set its own fuel standards. Even before the announcement was announced, the idea was fiercely attacked by California's governor and environmentalist. In our Eye on Earth series, CBS This Morning is showcasing original reporting focusing on the health of our planet. Greenland's melting ice sheet is contributing to a rise in sea levels that could threaten millions in low-lying areas. The situation became more urgent this summer when 11 billion tons of surface ice melted in just one day. Seth Doan visited Greenland's glaciers to meet some of the scientists on the front lines of climate change. Icebergs broken off glaciers fill fjords. Ice melting here in Greenland is affecting sea levels around the world. In fact, if all of Greenland's ice sheet melted, sea levels could rise by 23 feet worldwide. We choppered out to Helheim Glacier, which holds enough frozen water to fill the entire state of Pennsylvania a foot deep. Ah, uh, you can see the camp now. Scientists are perched at the glacier's edge. David. Seth, nice Among to them, meet you. NYU's exactly. David Holland and his wife Denise, who manages logistics. People say follow the money. Well, this is a story really about follow the warm water. Water melts ice quicker than air, and so the ocean can melt this ice sheet much faster than the air. Denise Holland took this video showing a giant piece of Helheim Glacier breaking off or calving last summer. The ice chunk was so big it could stretch from lower Manhattan to Midtown in New York City. It was um, huge chunks, small chunks, everything just just broke apart in this one big jumble of ice. This is a radar detector. Holland radar. and the NYU team set up radar equipment that peers into the glacier to measure its movement and thickness. The icy surface is deceiving. One comes up here and doesn't see a problem. Right. And so uh, the potential problem is when we put our probes down in this fjord down to the bottom and we detect uh, large volumes of very warm, salty water. So, because you know that could melt the ice fast. Yeah, and that's not sustainable. Greenland's ice sheet shed around 11 billion tons of surface ice in just one day in August. That's enough to fill around 4.4 million Olympic-sized swimming pools. The, is the mayor of changing. coastal Kulusuk, Greenland, says they're feeling climate change with more ferocious storms. So how is this noise? Because of this extreme weather, yeah, because yeah. of the wind? Yeah, because of uh, strong wind. And nearby in the picturesque port town of Tasilak. This is all Inuit culture. This is all Inuit Rasmus culture. Paulson took freelance work at this museum of Inuit culture. His winter sport adventure business had a shorter season. Last year was extremely good. We had a lot of snow, a lot of ice. We were able to do dog sledding all the way into the first week of June. This year I had to close down my business for winter activities in the middle of April. Summer came sooner. Summer came very, very much sooner. Coming off the ice sheet in winter. Are At the glacier, winds. David Holland and his team have been surprised to learn just how finicky the atmosphere is. People say climate will change by a degree or something. In the tropics, I don't think that matters. But when you're at the freezing point, minus a half degree below is freezing, plus half a degree above is melting. One degree is everything. They're collecting data to understand what is happening. So scientists can then tackle the question, why? For CBS This Morning, Seth Doan, Helheim Glacier, Greenland. Doing good work out there on today's CBS This Morning podcast. Seth and his producers share details of their reporting from Greenland, including what locals say about the effects of climate change. And to learn more about what you can do to help the environment, and everybody can do something, we invite you to go to our CBS This Morning Instagram page for advice from teen climate activists, Greta Thunberg and others. Greta, you know, was here at the table the other day. Was well, indeed. She was at yeah. Congress recently. Yes, too. she was. I right. saw her. On TV. The cost of emergency room visits are.